All right, cloudy day, but nice, very nice out. June 5th, 2022. Today, we're gonna run 125 foot um, ethernet cable from the router inside the house, through the wall, up to the shop, around the back, and to the computer for the studio. So I decided to put on the chill lights. They illuminate the ceiling and it gives just a really nice uh, calming light lighting in here. Yeah, instead of having these, these things blasting down on me, which are great. Um, I think this is, I really like those. I should use them more often. So here in the studio, um, I think what I'm gonna do, pretty much I want access to the back of my tower and the front of the tower. So it can't be right up against the wall. It has to be kind of central. And I don't want it up so high. So I kind of want it probably mounted right about there. What I could do is with these outlets, I can come straight over and I can put the ethernet outlet probably right about here. So all we have to do is drill a hole straight through to the outside and then we'll kind of know where to go. We can install the little plate right there. And then running this is just gonna be kind of routing uh, around the siding and, and stuff like that. So it's not gonna be that, that difficult. All right, so I'm just looking over here at my poor tomato plants. I was thinking about watering them, but I think they're gonna die off anyway because there's definitely some kind of an oil spill that happened here because this used to be a mechanics garage. But check this out. Holy, how did I not notice all these mica cap mushrooms all over this log? I mean, it's just full of them. You guys probably remember these from uh, the other day, but yeah, awesome. I wonder if uh, I can still inoculate that with oyster mushrooms if it would grow or if the stump is already fully colonized with mica cap mycelium. That's interesting. Anyway, got mushrooms in the yard. Cool. I really wanted to go looking for mushrooms today. However, I kind of talked myself out of it because uh, um, it's a pretty good hike going up there and didn't want to risk anything with my back issues. I noticed there's some mushrooms right here as well. Oh, that's a stink horn. So, yeah, there's a couple of them coming up. They look kind of like a morel. They have that uh, weird brain-like top. But yeah, that's a, a stink horn mushroom. And they stink when you break them. Actually, you don't, you don't even have to break them. They just stink. All right, it might look like it's snowing, but it's actually about 80 degrees out. And this is just, um, I don't know what it's called. Some kind of pollen from the neighbor's tree. Stuff is everywhere. Anyway, we got, um, we have an ethernet outlet installed into the wall inside. I ran the cable up inside the wall between the studs up into the rafters of this room and then out the wall here, tucked it in underneath the siding came across here, went that way, and then down, down here along the conduit, over, I coiled up the extra here on the outside, right into the studio. I just got to uh, expanding foam that, fill it up so no bugs can get in there. I'm gonna do that right now before I forget. All right, next I'm gonna go ahead and make some trim for around the edges here. I don't think I need to trim out along the sides. It's, it's, pretty, it's pretty good. I'm not concerned about you know, hiding anything. There's no big gaps or anything. So I might just leave that for now. Uh, but definitely around the floor, where the floor meets the wall all the way around, um, I wanna go ahead and trim that stuff out. Now I'm not gonna go to Home Depot and spend I don't even know how much it costs. It's stupidly expensive. I'll just make my own. I have some leftover tongue and groove boards. I'm gonna cut this stuff down into strips 
And then I'll just use my router and a round over bit and we'll make a nice round over and we'll, we'll make our own trim. Save a bunch of money and it'll be a fun project. By the way, um, it's almost 5 p.m. I had, I took it really slowly today with uh, my back is still acting up from what happened yesterday. So I've been taking my time with it and everything. So I know there's not a lot happening today, but I'm going at my own pace. It's all good. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down, make some trim, we'll install it, and then we'll call it for the day. All right, so the idea is for doing the trim in here, um, I was trying to figure out how to cover up this piece of concrete. So all I did was I painted down about halfway. And the reason I didn't go all the way to the bottom is because I'm gonna go ahead and liquid nails these boards to it. And I wanted to leave some unpainted concrete for better, for better grip. So that's how I'm gonna attach this tongue and groove board to that. But before I do it, I'm gonna go ahead and cut about an inch off of the top of all these pieces, and I'm gonna round them over, or possibly a bevel. Not sure what I'm gonna go with yet. Maybe the bevel would probably look better because that would match pretty much everything else in this room. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my brush. I'm not even gonna clean up the floor. I'm not even gonna attempt to, because that would mean I need to bend down and scoop stuff up. So I'm gonna go ahead and cook some hot dogs on the grill. And if this video is very short, I'll go ahead and uh, answer some comments. All right, let's go ahead and answer. I mean, I already read a lot of these comments and it looks like most of you guys also have back problems too. So, uh, hey, I live in Loveland. I've got a great chiropractor here in Loveland. If you have any interest, voted best in my town. For years in a row, hope you get better soon. You hate back problems, good luck. Thank you, don't say my name, I mean it. I appreciate that. Um, also, when you said that this is Wyoming, you might have added that about a two hour drive from where you are to Wyoming. People not from there, from here might think Wyoming is literally in your camera's view. Yeah, no, um, if you look where I was showing that zoomed in picture where you can see the mountains going all the way up, they go north, the Rocky Mountains, that's the front range. Um, the furthest mountain that you can see, that's definitely Wyoming. And if you turn around and look the other way, you can actually see all the way down to like Colorado Springs where Pikes Peak is. And yeah, it's it's pretty far. It's like two hour drive in each direction that you can actually see. And if you look out over the plains, you can see easily to the, well, not easily, it's very small, but you can see the Denver airport, which is all the way on the other side of Denver. And um, you can see the four, um, I call them golf balls over there at the uh, Buckley Space Force base. Anyway, thanks for that comment. Donald, oh, I know what you mean. Thanks to my chiropractor. Usually in three or four visits, I'm some better. Yeah, I go to a chiropractor every week. And, um, you know, it doesn't... Really, the thing is, it just, I don't know. It's degenerative disc disease is what it is. And so that it weakens your spine, I guess. And I don't know how to fix it. If I knew how to fix it, I would do it. But I also don't want to get surgery by the VA either. I've been offered surgery and the steroid injections and all that stuff. I said no. So I, I was like, I'd rather, deal with, I'd rather deal with it than risk something, right? Thank you, R Raid in MD. Wishing you speed of recovery. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you, Brian. Uh, Pen Penoyer79 about the Gibson Les Paul video. Now do a Japson made ESP. You won't find any of this. Yeah, he's right about Japanese made ESPs. Um, I have a couple friends that work over at the ESP Guitar Research over in Tokyo. I went to school with those guys. I visited over there a couple years ago. And they those guys in Japan... Every, every process that they use is much close. They, they pay attention to detail over there at the Japanese made ESPs. I agree. Thank you, Russell. 
Uh, Brandon says, don't get a spinal fusion. He got one when he was 18 and he regrets it. Okay, I will not. Uh, Darn Tootin says, yep, sometimes just a sneeze will set my back pain off. And whiskey is a good idea. I think I'm going to have some more whiskey tonight. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cook hot dogs tonight. Actually, she's, she's already cooking them up on the grill. I can't do any grill stuff tonight, so just taking it easy, you know. Didn't get too much done, but I'll do what I can. As long as I don't... Man, I really wanted to go for mushrooms today. That that made me angry, almost, because on Facebook, there's so many people posting pictures of burn morels now in, like, Gilpin County and Larimer County and all the different counties where I go looking for burn morels. They're up, and I just can't get up there. I mean, I could, but it, it'd be risking it, right? And plus, I have a Tupperware full of black morels from last year, burn morels from last year. David, feeling your pain is crazy. It's always the simple stuff that throws you off. Take it easy. Get some Clash Cures vids. Where's the install, installing the hot tub? Yeah, the hot tub will be eventually. Um, that's um, we could definitely do it, um, but no plans yet. Sean says my discs aren't ruptured, but five bulging in the thoracic T5 disc had a bilateral nerve ab ablation on. L wow, that's a lot of numbers and letters, but I hope you get better, man. Tarnished Viking says, uh, dealing with for 40 years. Thank you, guys. Uh, Peladamo Health says, black and blonde look sweet. Did something similar with black granite tile floors, blonde oak cabinets. Um, <laughs> dinner and back rubs with some sipping whiskey for a week sounds choice. Yeah, maybe I'll take it e a little bit easier this week. I, well, I really don't have a choice. I mean, I could hurt myself more if I really did more stuff, but happy wife, happy life. Thank you, Travis. Yeti says, man, it's looking good. Going to be epic. All the sounds coming out of there. You need a jam room where folks can sample your wares. Yeah, that's going to be pretty much the, the uh, once I have my setup bench and stuff in the in the guitar shop, that'll kind of be like a jam room area. It's going to be sweet, yes. Thank you for the comment. Um, Anthony feels my pain. Back goes out if you sneeze wrong. Yeah, dude. Thank you for the compliment on the room. And J Max says that darker color made the room look way smaller than when it was white. Sorry about the back issues. Never fun. Yeah, it does make it a little bit smaller. But the good thing is it isn't smaller. It's just going to allow me to control the lighting better. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And... Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.